Hey, I am Buccaneer Barry, and this is our story number four about pirates. So this one is called The Pirates Next Door, starring the Jolly Rogers by Johnny Duddle. And I got this at the Kingston Library. It's a little old, and so they let me borrow it if I said I would be very careful. Okay, here we go. Matilda lived in Dull-on-Sea, a gloomy seaside town too busy in the summer, and in the winter it shut down. So here it's too busy in the summer and the winter. It shut down. There weren't too many kids around, and none on Tilda Street. But the lawns were mowed, and the cars were washed, and the hedges trimmed and neat. Look at everything nice and trim. The house next door had been for sale since Tilda was a baby. She hoped a family would move in with a girl her age, or maybe... Look, nobody lives there for sale. <gasps> a pirate boy! Ahoy! He had no shoes, an eye patch, and a wooden-legged dog. A pirate ship with treasure chests and barrels full of grog. She's going there, and what? It's a pirate ship. What if a pirate ship moved next door to you? <gasps> he said, we're the Jolly Rogers. We'll be anchoring next door. We've sailed the seven seas, but now we've come ashore. That's my mom over there digging up the grass. I feel a little landsick, but she says it'll pass. That's Dad over yonder, the captain of our crew. He likes to shout, Arr, cause that's what pirates do. Grandpa won't set foot on shore. He says he can't bear dry land. The last time he left the ship, the king chopped off his hand. That urchin's there called Nugget. She's a rascal, as you'll see, though she can't fire the cannon yet. Because she's only three. So there's the young boy, mom, you see? dad, grandpa, and baby Nugget. That's the pirate family, the Jolly Rogers. Next morning, Tilda shouted, Life's not boring anymore! Isn't it fantastic that those pirates moved next door? But mom and dad were not impressed. The neighborhood will sneer. The way they dress, the way they speak, they won't fit in around here. Their kids are always playing with the most alarming toys. We'd rather you were friends with normal girls and boys. Here she's explaining how happy and her parents are like, oh, can't you be normal, normal friends. On Monday morning, Jim Ladd came to Matilda's school. Though no one else would sit by him, Matilda said, You're cool. You ain't so bad yourself, young lass. For land folk, that is rare. Though I'm a scurvy sea dog, you'll be okay right there. Oh, look. I think it's really nice, like, really nice to be friends with people. Okay, but the teacher said Jim should wear shoes and his uniform was wrong. She wrote a note, but Jim replied, I won't be staying long. We're only here a little while so dad can fix our ship. We ain't cut out for life on land, but this day will be just a blip. We're the Jolly Rogers and we need to be at sea. School's just grand, but understand, it's a pirate's life for me. So the teacher said he should wear shoes, wear the right clothes. Teacher sent a note, but Jim's like, don't worry about it. Oh boy, now the neighbors. After school, a neighbor came around for cake and tea. Her name was Mrs. Bumble. Her from, whoops, from number 33. So, shh, let's listen. 
Miss Pinky called town council, you see, to see what they could do. She didn't live through two world wars to have pirates spoil her view. <gasps> Isn't it a disgrace on such a lovely street? Why, they don't even try to keep their front lawn looking neat. So this lady is gossiping to mom, and this older woman is complaining. <gasps> now this lady has something to say, too. They have to go, said Miss Devine, who lived at number 89. Their teeth are black. They'll na they'll, their nails are too. It's really, truly, this really, truly just won't do. They never wash. Their kids have lice. They also just don't smell that nice. The boy says, mm, uh, thanks. And the girl says, you smell okay. <laughs> they wear old clothes and scruffy hats. I'm told their ship is full of rats. <laughs> Miss Devine complaining, complaining. And look, little Nugget is playing music for the rats. She doesn't mind. <gasps> well, boy, now a neighbor man. Also mad was Mr. Shore, the grumpy man at 34. He liked to read the paper on his sunlit deck, you know. But the pirate ship blocked out the light, so he said, they'll have to go. I'd like some peace and quiet, but they're fixing up that boat, hammering all day and night. That thing will never float. There's Mr. Shore with a big mustache. Not happy about the neighbors. <gasps> the two Miss Yates at 88 told everyone who passed their gate, We saw them grab the mailman. They made a blank walk the blank. It's lucky he can swim. But we're afraid the mail all sank. Two twin sisters. Not happy. Oh boy. They scared the ducks, said Mrs. Snucks, and terrorized the park. They boarded people's rowboats and fired cannons for a lark. <laughs> Dad says, That's my boy. There's Mrs. Snucks. Not happy that they took people's rowboats. Mm hmm. The ducks go quack, quack. Driving home from Bingo, Mrs. Plum got quite a fright. They're digging up the roadside in the middle of the night. They have cutlasses. Whoops, different man. They have cutlasses, said Mr. Brown. They'd love to run you through. They'll steal your gold, or so untold. Whatever shall we do? So here's Mrs. Plum, and then here's Mr. Brown. They are all not happy about the pirates. Oh boy, now oh, Miss Bevan. Miss Bevan from 87 marched down to town hall. She collected a petition, 50 signatures in all. They're digging holes and fighting fights. It's the beginning of the end. I've lived here for years and years and so have all my friends. Before you know it, there'll be more. We'll all have pirates right next door. The Jolly Rogers cannot stay. You must make them go away. That's Mrs. Bevins talking to the city, thinking, oh, more pirates. <sighs> Boy, they're in trouble. That night there was tapping at Matilda's window pane. Outside was Jim. He whispered, I've got something to explain. Whenever we stop somewhere new, the neighbors are unkind. To show them pirates aren't so bad, we leave some things behind. Shh. She went up to Matilda. Matilda's room. That's going to tell her a secret. What will he say? Our galleons now ship shape, so it's time we sailed away. And I'll be sad to leave, because I've enjoyed our stay. 
But we pirates need adventure to see lands across the ocean. We need cutlasses and treasure maps and lots of suntan lotion. Though our visit here just has to end, I hope that you'll still be my friend. To stay in touch, let's send notes. Be sure to use something that floats. So he's talking at her window, and then climbs back down. And Matilda wonders, what does he mean? Matilda woke up the next morning puzzled by what Jim had said, but she'd vowed she'd keep, she'd keep in touch as she struggled out of bed. So here she's getting up, and she looks around, and looks around at everybody's yard, and what does she see? She opened up the curtains as she gave a great big yawn. And there, to her amazement, was an X on every lawn. An X on every lawn. Now the neighbors say, Oh, what a shame they lived. I didn't say goodbye. They were such a charming family. I think I'm going to cry. I'm such a pirate fan. They wore such lovely hats. I'd rather liked their singing. And I'll miss those darling rats. See, that's what the neighbors said when they were given special treats by the pirates. Wasn't that nice? Oh, so what they did, see. So after that, the town went on land loving happily. But Tilda now goes fishing on the jetty by the sea. She's waiting for a message to wash up on the shore from her very special pirate friend, the one who lived next door. So now that it's the summer, you can come aboard our ship. We'll pick you up next Tuesday for a special pirate trip. Jim Ladd, his dog said, well, wasn't that sweet? She sends messages, and she got a message from Jim. And now she gets to go on the pirate ship. That's a nice friend. So they lived in the city dull on sea, population 222, average age 67. Sister city looks like Enwi Summer. Enwi Summer. That's right. And that was a good story. The Pirates Next Door, starring the Jolly Rogers by Johnny Duddle. So they left every single neighbor a treasure chest full of special things. Here's a treasure chest. What's in it? Let's see. Our friend Glenn left this for us. Oh, it's a scary skeleton. Hi. How you doing? Sorry. Oh, look. We got another Jolly Roger pirate flag. Just like this one. Oh, and there's some pirate gold. Pirate gold. Ah, oh, boy. And look, a card about our pirate fest. We are having a pirate fest the last two weekends in October in Harriman, Tennessee. You can get your pirate on. It's fun for the entire family. And there's costume contests and everything. So thank you to the Kingston Library for this book, The Pirates Next Door. It's Buccaneer Barry wishing you a hearty and happy day. Arr.